If you like eating out, this is something you like to hear. The number of restaurants flunking their health inspections is going down. Here's News 13's Gabrielle Burkhart with the reason why. Gabrielle. Jessica, these red or green stickers in front of a restaurant can help make or break a business. We found lately fewer and fewer places are getting red tagged in Albuquerque. <laughs> At Mario's Pizzeria in Albuquerque, you'll notice pizza making is a family affair. So you got all three generations here. This is the owner, Eddie Bergarello. His 82-year-old Sicilian dad, Mario, opened up shop in 1986. Everything he knows. Eddie's daughter works here too. This restaurant means everything to our family. But it's not just good food. A good restaurant has to worry about. The Burgarellos say they work hard to keep everything clean and to keep this green sticker in the window issued by the city's environmental health department. Make sure the floors are clean, the ceilings are clean. It turns out this year, fewer restaurants in Albuquerque are getting the dreaded red tag, which is a good thing. If that red sticker is up there, that's a warning sign that they've missed the mark on enough things that we're concerned about it. In 2013, 144 businesses failed health inspections. Mark Domena says part of that was due to restaurants not paying fees, but there can be other problems. Uh, everything from the temperatures that food's being held at, the way it's being handled, make sure people are wearing gloves. So far in 2016, there are only 21 places with red tags. That's out of thousands. Mayor Richard J. Berry attributes that to health inspectors working more with restaurants. Help them succeed while you're keeping people safe, and I think that's starting to show. At Mario's, they're proud of their red and green, particularly on the pies. We're in New Mexico, pepperoni and green chili, that's the best. Now, the owners of Mario's Pizza say they've taken health safety at an extra step. They do, they do their own weekly inspections to make sure everything is up to code. Jessica, back to you. All right, thank you, Gabrielle. The Environmental Health Department does surprise inspections at least twice a year. If you want to see how a restaurant fared, we've posted a link in our story on the KRQE News app.